My First Bible presents Joseph and the Wife of Potiphar. Joseph traveled very far with the Ishmaelite merchants. God, my Lord, whispered Joseph under the burning sun. I don't know how things will be in Egypt. Perhaps I'll end up carrying stones to build pyramids for the Egyptians. But God, I know wherever I go, you will be with me. Please help me. At night, Joseph prayed for his family. I think I know why my brothers did this to me. I acted with too much pride. God, forgive me for that. Please take care of them, especially my brother, Benjamin, and my father, so that someday I can see them again. After a long journey, the merchants arrived to a great city in Egypt. And there, they sold Joseph to a man named Potiphar, Hi. an Egyptian who was an official of the Pharaoh and captain of his guard. He had a lot of money, but above all, he was very kind. Hey. When Joseph saw his new owner, he knew God was with him. He was happy because he didn't have to carry stones to build pyramids. Instead of that, he'd have to work in Potiphar's house. Joseph worked hard for Potiphar. He always tried to have something to do. Every time he did something, Joseph made sure to do it well. By doing so, Joseph gained Potiphar's trust. And in little time, he appointed him as steward of the entire house and entrusted him with the administration of all his wealth. For Joseph's sake, the Lord blessed Potiphar's house from the moment he put Joseph in charge of his house and all his wealth. Because of this, Potiphar left Joseph in charge of everything and only cared about what he had to eat. While working for Potiphar, Joseph grew and became a man. He had a good physique and was very attractive. One day, Potiphar's wife thought, Aw, oh, Joseph is so handsome. My husband has gone away on a trip for a few days. Maybe I can get Joseph to be with me. And so she told Joseph to come to her room. Okay. When Joseph arrived, Potiphar's wife said to him, Come with me, Joseph. You are so handsome and strong. Come and kiss me. Joseph knew that many men would like to do what Potiphar's wife was asking him to do, but he would be betraying the trust of his owner, Potiphar. And so he said to her, I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't do that. It wouldn't be right. Yes, you can, Joseph. My husband won't find out, she said. But Joseph rejected her. Potiphar's wife was offended that a slave turned her down. She tried to force him to kiss her. Joseph pushed her to the side and ran out. But she snatched his tunic from him. I'm here. When Potiphar returned home, his wife showed him Joseph's tunic and lied to him. Joseph tried to take advantage of me, but I screamed with all of my might. I ran out and he left his tunic here. Huh, what kind of man have you brought into our home? Potiphar was infuriated and He's believed his wife. Guards? Oh, he called his guards and told them, send Joseph to prison and never let him out. Mm -hmm. And so, Joseph was unjustly imprisoned. Joseph was taken to jail where the king's prisoners were. And in spite of everything, God was with him. Comment and subscribe below.